Okay, I have gone into this video with a game plan because <laughs> I, I don't think I have filmed a get ready with me or a makeup tutorial or anything like this where I have been as nervous as I am. Um, I know and love makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I like to think that for myself personally, I know makeup. <sighs> the one thing that I just don't do, so I don't care for those types of products because I don't know how to use them, are cream products. And I am going to be working with some cream products today and I'm so scared. Now we worked with drugstore yesterday and I think it's actually going to be yesterday. It was yesterday for me but when you guys get to see the drugstore and then today you're seeing this, I think it was yesterday too. Like I think I'm really I'm really working out this pre-filming this pre-filming crap. I think I might got it. I might have it. I obviously don't have proper grammar. For anyone who doesn't know, um, I'm a stay-at-home mother of three redheads. Three redheads. Um, so during the week, I have no time to film. No time whatsoever to film. That's an impossible task. Sometimes I can fit it in there, but usually no. So I only film on the weekends. I have Saturday and I have Sunday to film, and that's it. And I like to put up at least four videos a week. Um, so that's a lot to do in a weekend and spend time with my family. So that's why you'll see me in the same outfits or with the same makeup looks. Um, I would like to be able to switch makeup looks and outfits and things like that, but who's got time? So I hope that you guys never mind, and that's probably why in the background of my video sometimes you can hear dishes and children screaming, and it just sounds like a murder scene sometimes. Like, that's my life. That's my life. Mayhem. Anyone with red-headed children knows they suck souls. They suck your soul. All right, enough messing around. We did drugstore yesterday. I want to do more high-end luxury today. I have a bunch of new products. Thank you so much to Kathy and Tracy who have been like angels for me, um, sending me some amazing things to try out. And so that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to try out a bunch of new very expensive stuff and just see see what I'm thinking here. So I'm going to start off with a primer or a base as they call it. And this is from Bobbi Brown and a lot of people rave this product up. So this is called the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. A lot of people go in with a sponge to apply this. As of right now it's still at the top so I'm just going to use my finger. When it gets down there I'm going to use the sponge. Um, it is kind of a thicker paste, but it's still creamy, so that's nice. Smells amazing. Definitely has citrus in it because I can smell it. And I think that on the box it said you can use this as a moisturizer and a base for your makeup. Oh, this just feels good. I can see people with dry skin, like, drenching themselves in this. Oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of, like... I don't even know. It just smells good. For my foundation, I'm going to go in with, I've been mixing these two. I really like to mix the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is an amazing full coverage foundation. I have used this. This is probably my fourth bottle of this. I love this so much. This is like a waterproof, long wear, cake your face kind of foundation. Sometimes it's a little bit too much for me, especially if I'm a little dehydrated. So this is like the perfect consistency to kind of mix the two together. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. They are like two of the completely opposite types of foundation, but them together for some reason works amazingly. So I put like one squirt of the Urban Decay on the back of my hand and then a couple pumps of the NARS and I just mix them together and it really does. It, it creates a little bit of magic for me. But I actually use a lot less of this mixture than I would a normal foundation that I use because it provides a lot of coverage with the smallest amount. Now I'm going to try a new concealer to me and that is from Hourglass. I have not tried anything from Hourglass besides a blush um, and I love it. I still have it. I absolutely love it. And this is the Hidden Concealer in Fair. It's just a stick concealer. I've used this once and wasn't really sure how I felt about it, to be honest. I felt like it didn't have enough coverage and I closed a piece of it in the cap so now it just chunked off on me. My bad. It's kind of hard to blend, to be honest, but I'm going to attempt here. 
I just really don't feel like it does much for my under eyes. But I mean, you, I need some serious under eye work all the time because I have the worst under eyes. Like I said, three redheaded children. So it's a very like luminous, it's a very luminous kind of concealer. I don't know if it would be better for like concealing blemishes you know, and not the under eyes because I feel like it didn't give me any kind of coverage to the dark circles. I just still kind of feel like everything bad is going on. So I'm going to go in with the Amazing Concealer in Illuminate just for like some highlighting and a little extra coverage because that's just, I don't know how I feel about that. Now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics um, HD Brow Pencil. I really, really like this. I don't have a more expensive brow pencil. So I can't really test anything out like that. So I'm just going to quickly get these done and be right back. All right, now to set the brows, I actually want to try out another Hourglass product. This is the Arch Fiber Gel in Warm Brunette. This is a pretty cool product. I don't remember who I've seen talk about this or like this, but one side has really long, like, fibrous brush hairs, and I'm just going to comb that through the brows. It's a very soft brush, even though it looks a little deadly. I really like it. I like how it gives a little bit more color to my brows, so if there's any spare spots that I might have missed it fills it in quite nicely all right now here's where things get a little tricky because I have in my mind an exact way that I do my makeup step by step by step and that's how I've always done my makeup but using the cream products I have to do things a little bit differently so I haven't set my face I don't know where to go from here <laughs> so the cream products that I have that I know need to be used before powder are these Christopher Buckle products. Now I was lucky enough to, for them to send me out a few of their products. I have this here which is their light enhancing duo which is really really nice. This comes with a mirror. I love the packaging on this. And then you have a cream highlight and a powder. And it's it's supposed to be that way so you use the cream and then the powder to set it and it's supposed to enhance and give you a wonderful wonderful kind of bright illumination it's gonna stay a little bit longer and then you have the forever blush duo I just love that packaging so classy and they pop open you press the button and they pop open comes with a mirror and then you have the blush look at that color oh, this is a cream to powder blush and then you have the actual powder to the blush so I really like these. They are for people who have probably more drier skin or more mature skin, um, but it doesn't matter. Anybody can use these anytime. Um, so I need to learn how to use them. I know I need to use them first before I start any kind of powdering. So this is the first time I'm doing this, so just bear with me. I'm going to do the blush first. I just feel weird because I'm like, how am I going to do the blush and the highlighter and then go in and bronze and powder my face? Like, how does that work? Because I feel like it's all going to muddy together. So I'm just going to try and maybe I will just pass on bronzing today. I, I don't know. I just know we got to do something here because mama's starting to melt. All right, so I'm going to go in to this blush. Oh, I just can't get over the colors. They are so gorgeous. This is a $28 little duo here. And the highlighter one is $35 and so isn't the bronzer. The bronzer we will get to later on maybe. Um, if things work out, I'm going to take, um, this is what I'm just going to do. I'm going to go into the cream with, with my sponge because honestly, I don't know what else to do. And I'm just going to pat it in. I feel like I'm not doing this right. I suck. All right. I'm seeing some color here. I'm seeing some color. The cream is a little hard to work with it's a little it's not as creamy as I thought it was gonna be but it is it's showing up now and it is actually creating a very pretty flush and what I like if you haven't heard of Christopher Buckle he is actually a celebrity makeup artist he's worked with Mariah Carey he's worked with Jennifer Lopez with Blake Lively he works with a lot of celebrities and his stuff and his work is amazing so I I tend to trust these products <laughs> and yeah okay now I'm I'm getting it now 
Now before I go in with the powder to that, I'm going to go in with the cream illuminator in this one. This, ugh, that illuminator is insane. I think I might want to use my finger. This is very creamy. Very creamy. Oh, so pretty. I mean, you could use this cream alone. I've been trying to play around with these, honestly. I mean, ugh. Okay, now that I have the base down, I do have as well the dual-ended brush, and I really like this. This is extremely soft and very well made, so I'm, I'm not mad at this. I'm going to take the more domed side and go into the powder of this highlight and set that highlight, I guess. That's what you would call it. Setting it? I don't know. Mm, it's pretty. It might be a little too dark on me. Just a little bit, but it's a nice highlight. Ooh. That's pretty. Oh. It is a little bit, a little bit dark on me. A little bit. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to use the angled side here. And I'm going to go into that blush here, the powder part. And I'm going to kind of set the blush. Oh, I'm so scared. I just feel like it's all going to muddy together. If you guys notice that I'm doing something wrong or you can give me some tips um, with anything that I'm doing, let me know. I did a lot of research on how to use cream products before I went into this, but you know, things don't always work out. Sometimes people have better tips than what I'm able to find. But this is a way to make your makeup last. A lot longer a lot longer so if I can get this down I bet you anything I'm gonna become an addict I mean I'm not mad at it I'm not I don't know why I keep saying that I'm not mad at it I don't know why you guys but I should shut up it seems really pretty to me so yeah I mean these are really good products really really good products I wish that they were a little bit more well known around like Sephora or something like that so people would use these a little bit more because as someone who doesn't use cream products, I'm pretty impressed. Now, I do need to set things. <laughs> I do need to set things. And as far as I know, you can put translucent products over cream to powder products, and it's not supposed to mess with what they look like. So let's try that out. Now, I definitely need to set my under eyes, and I have two products here. Tracy sent me these. One is the Becca, and this is the Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder, and this is the Laura Mercer, Mer, Mercier, Laura Mercier, 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 and this is her secret bright, brightening under eye powder, <laughs> woo, but she thinks that they're very close to one another, so she wanted me to test them out and see if they are, because one is a little bit more expensive than the other, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one on one eye and one on the other, and we're going to see what I'm thinking. Now I'm going to use my sponge here, the side that doesn't have blush on it. And I'm going to go into that Becca powder. And I'm just going to, you know what, I should probably try to get rid of that crease first. Alright, I'm going to go in with the Becca powder first. And just kind of set that down. Alright, and now the Laura Mercier. I like the Laura Mercier better. I mean, they are very similar, same feel, very similar, but the Laura Mercier seems to give more of a blurred effect to the under eye, so they are very, very close to one another, but not exact dupes. Now, I don't have a high-end translucent powder for my face, sad, I know, so I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel. <laughs> <laughs> the Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Translucent Powder because it's great. And I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Powder Brush. You guys, ah! You know that the, the Straits 221, 226 brush that I use to, for my cut crease all the time? This is from that same line. You will never get a better brush than this brush line. Hands down. I don't care. Even Wayne Goss couldn't beat it. And I know that that's a strong thing to say, but... Mm -hmm. So let's set my face and see, oh, let's set my face and see if it messes up. 
the blush and the highlight. So it didn't mess with too much of it. I mean, the you don't really have to go over what you've already set, so it doesn't tend to mess with it too much, but it's still there and it still looks great. Um, the only thing that I am noticing is the highlight seems to break up my foundation on my nose a little bit, so I am seeing that, which that's not something that's ever happened to me, but it could be user error because this is really my first time like legitly working with cream products, so... <laughs> Could be me. Now let's move on to the eyes. For a base, I'm going to go in with the Trish McAvoy, and this is the Eye Base Essentials. Just put this down. This is a very expensive product. Is Trish McAvoy is not a brand I ever heard of. And there are definitely a lot of misses in the brand, I can tell you that, but the hits that I have found are, like, to die for. I don't know if it's those cream products where for some reason I feel very like fresh faced and like I look a little bit younger than I am. I'm looking in the monitor which is what I always look at. Um, it looks good, right? Right? For a palette today I want to try out this Bobbi Brown palette called Nude Drama. You can't see it in the camera but it's all glittery and stuff so it's very very pretty. It has a huge mirror and then these are your shadows very neutral but beautiful colors so I'm liking this I'm really really liking it I'm gonna go in with this more white cream down here which is a matte and I'm just gonna throw that all over the lid to set that primer I can't even explain to you how thrown off I am with doing my makeup routine a little bit differently because of the cream products like I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing right now and then I want to go into this matte blush color. I don't know why, but I've been so into blush, like, transition colors. And I'm going to take that color and just pop it into the crease. really like that color. Oh, that is so damn beautiful. I just feel like you could keep it just like this, with just this color in the crease. And then throw on some mascara and a lip and you're like good to go with a very beautiful just fresh face look. But you know I'm going to cake on a whole lot more because we're playing with makeup. And then I want to take the brown up above it and I just want to throw that a little bit lower into the crease. And a little bit onto the eyelid and then just really low into the crease. Now I do want to do my half cut crease just because I want to try it glam. You know just I want to try it glam. So all of my makeup brushes are dirty than I normally use. I gotta wash them tonight. I know. Procrastination. So I'm gonna try to use this just no name brush and a concealer and see if I can. <laughs> this definitely does not work as good as my Makeup Forever brush. I cannot seem to get a straight line. I can't even begin to tell you how unhappy I am with the way that this cut crease turned out, but it's just makeup. It washes off, so let's move on. I'm going to go in with this brush that we got out of BoxyCharm, and I think that I'm going to go in with this shade right here. That looks gorgeous. And I'm going to try to pack that on to the lid. That is a very beautiful pink shimmery eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with a small tapered blending brush and this darker matte brown here. And I'm going to start putting that very, ooh, that is super pigmented. Is that brown or black? Oh, and I'm going to start putting that right on the outer edge to what I thought was very lightly, but that is such a super pigmented shade. Holy cow. So I don't know how I'm feeling about this brown that I used, which honestly looks pretty black when you put it down, and it's a little hard to work with. I've been sitting here for quite a while just trying to blend and blend and blend, and for some reason to me it still looks a bit muddy. I don't, I don't know. It's not, it's not too bad, but... Mm. I don't know if I really care for that shade too much. So I'm going to go into this shade right here in the middle. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it down on the brow bone. 
Now I'm going to be using this Tom Ford eyeliner. This is a dual eyeliner. It's really cool. One side is this kind of champagne, beautiful, shimmery, taupe color. Um, I'm not really sure what. And then the other side is a really beautiful emerald green. I'm going to be using the shimmery side. And I want to put it on the inner corner here. Kind of as a base. Just wanted to put it down there as a base. Woo! But I'm going to go back into the color I used on my eyebrow. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on the inner corner as well. Oh yeah, is that aliven it up a little bit? Ooh. And I'm also going to throw that into the waterline, to be honest. Let's just put it in our waterline. I don't think I've ever worn a color like this in my waterline in my life. I feel like I am just one big massive highlighter right now. It's it's amazing. I'm going to go in to the colors that I used for my transition and just sweep them underneath that liner just to kind of fluff things out a little bit. And then I'm going to take a very, very small pointed pencil brush and go back in with that dark brown and very, very lightly go under the eye. For eyeliner for the top of my lids, I'm just going to lightly kind of tight line the top of my lash line. I'm going to go in with this Lancome and this is the art liner. Um, this is new to me. I don't know how I feel about this. It's just like the Essence one I tried. It's long and very flimsy. Like why are they doing that? I don't know but you can't do a cat eye with it. So I'm going to try to get very close and I'm not going all the way to the edge of my inner corner of my eye with it. Just from about right here over. Now I'm also not going to put on any false lashes because I want to try out this mascara. This is from Guerlain. Um, I don't know what this is called. I think it's just their So Volume Mascara. And I really want to try it out to see what kind of effect it will have on my lashes. So let's just go in and do the damn thing not just do that. I tried to smell this and just jab myself in the nose. Well, we're just going to let that dry right where it's at. This smells like straight up perfume. I don't think I've ever seen a mascara that has a strong perfume scent like this. It's really weird because it smells like flowers really, really bad, but it does actually look really nice. Um, It's a little spidery, just a little bit, but my lashes are so hard to work with. They are so short and they stick straight out. There is serious length in this. I see more length than I see volume. And this is a volume mascara. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, now I want a bronze. And I'm going to go in with this Christopher Buckle. And this is his bronzer. The Matte Warming Powder in Light. There are two colors to this. You open this up and you get one of those types of brushes and then you open it up the next lap and you get a mirror and then you have the bronzer. And this is not a bad bronzer at all. I have been playing around with it. I think that, in my opinion, the packaging is a little bit cheap. On the cheaper side, it's different than the other ones, but the product within it, it's not bad. So it does pick up a lot of product. You have to be careful with this one. Oh, I'm a little scared. A little scared and then I'm just gonna go in and lightly bronze and I hope this doesn't muddy because I've never done this before I've bronzed obviously just not over cream products this is such an easy bronzer to use it kind of just blends like melts into the skin and it makes you want to use more and more and more and more <laughs> So as usual, I need to set my face before I go in my lip. I'm honestly going to use the essence that I just got to keep it perfect because while the spray is killer, this stuff works so good. So give me a minute. Give me a minute. All right. It's not totally dry on this side. I kind of sprayed this side a little bit more than I should have, but let's just go ahead and do the lip. I'm going to line my lips with the Kat Von D Lolita 2 lip liner. This is like a must have, you guys. This is great. So I went ahead and filled in the whole lip with that. It might be a little bit dark. But then I'm going to go in with this Tom Ford lipstick. And this is in, let's see here, Nubile. Nubile, if I'm saying that right. And I'm just going to put that over top of the lip liner. That is a very pretty lip combination, but not for the look. Mm, no. I want something a little bit lighter. So I'm going to try the Tom Ford lipstick in Delectable. This is a more pink, so let's see how this one looks. 
I probably definitely could have used a lip liner with that, but I like it. Yay! So with using the high-end and luxury products, there are some hits and some misses. Um, the Christopher Buckle products are actually amazing. I mean, completely amazing. The only con that I really have to say about them is the blush, the cream part of that is a little bit hard to work with, but once you actually get your finger in there and kind of work the product around, it warms up. Perfect. Um, the packaging of the bronzer is a little bit cheap for my liking for the price of it, um, but other than that, the product within it, it makes everything not matter. <laughs> it's so good. That bronzer is so amazing. There are two different shades. There's multiple shades of the blush, and I'm quite certain there are multiple shades of the highlighter as well. The highlighter and the blush, ugh, you guys, I don't know why his brand is not in Sephora. They should be. Amazing, amazing products. So I will leave the link down below to his products as well as everything else that I used on my face today if you guys want to check it out. I'm going to be playing around with these a lot more. You're going to see a lot of these products in Luxury Lookouts or in I Hold This But Did I Like It. Um, I Hold It But Did I Like It. I always mess that up. But if you guys like this um, and you want to see more trying out drugstore or luxury types of makeup, then give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave so you miss no nonsense. And I will see you guys in the next one.